web people, today I come to you from my living room. I'm not in the studio because I've been sitting on the sofa having a little play with one of my Christmas presents. This is an Akai MPK Mini and it comes with a couple of synths. One's called Hybrid 3 and one's called Wobble. And they're actually really good synths. They're worth the £65 alone, let alone the £65 for the hardware. For £65 you get this and you get a couple of really good synths. Well worth the money. So I was thinking, well, I can use it in Logic, no problem. It's just an audio unit plug-in. And then I do remember reading somewhere that GarageBand also supported audio units. So I thought, well, let's fire up GarageBand and have a little look. So this is going to be a quick quick tip on how to use audio units in GarageBand. It's not, um, it's not obvious when you look at the screen. You think, well, my instruments are all down the side as normal. But where do I find the plugins? So... I'm just going to get rid of that for now. So this, all I've got down here at the moment is just a drum beat, which is just basically this, etc, etc. All it is is a loop from the library. <clears throat> so now what we need to do to get one of those audio unit plugins is if we press new track, you think again, well, where is the audio unit plugin? So all you do is just select a software instrument, create, and you'll get the standard electric piano, which... There we go. So hold on, I'm going to just record a quick riff in it. Nothing special. do me so let's just shorten this sample here and there we go so just got a few bars you think well okay I'm just gonna go in and quantize that and we've just got pretty boring so as promised here is how you find your audio units you have to double click on the icon on this classic electric piano or whatever instrument you've got loaded there double click and it will bring up you'll probably just get this which is the, the controls for it. But if you press the I and look down, you'll see down here is plugins. It may be folded up on yours, it may be down, who knows. But in here, you can go AU Instruments, and I'm going to pick the Hybrid 3 that come with this Akai Mini. And what will happen is it'll pop up. I'll just go and whack in some sort of sound, let's say. Uh, We'll have a sequence sound. It's just going to show you how it's very hard to select it to be fair. We'll have full move. Okay, so that's that loaded. Now have a listen. Pretty cool. So now you can have as many instances of this as you like. So what we'll do, just close all that down again. So plus. We'll have a sound from our Mac, create, double click this, press the I, then in plugins, again, I'm going to go and select my hybrid again, and this time we'll have some sort of space, I suppose, rolling rock will do. Okay, and now we'll go in and we'll record something from that. So there you have it. As easy as that. So although it wasn't obvious, once you know how to do it, it's easy. So get online, find all those free audio unit plugins, and for your four quid that GarageBand costs, you can have an immense amount of fun with it, an immense amount of different instruments. So that's today's quick tip. See you all again soon. Au revoir.